Grace, and just like my loquacious driver said, my name is Alexis, and I am your ghost host this evening. <laughs> now, as we roll along, I will be telling you much about the ghost activity and history in town. Now, some of the exact details haven't changed due to legal reasons. Unfortunately, stalking is illegal outside of your ex's Facebook page. However, these stories have not changed. Some for over 450 years. Now, also, as we roll along, absolutely do have your cameras up. Put the flash on and leave it on. Just do us a favor, please. Do not flash anything in the Flying Dutchman's eyes. Because if he can't see, he can't drive. And we're all going to be on the next tour. Now, while you have your cameras out, let me go over the few types of ghosts you might capture on your camera rolls. The first of which are shadow ghosts. Shadows that appear in odd places. We also have ectomists or ectomapers. Misty-like substance or swirling forms of energy. They can also be felt as cold spots. We also have orbs. Now, orbs are some of the most photographed phenomena in paranormal research. They often appear as little balls of light, sometimes followed by a trail. that have been captured as recently as my very last tour. And the creme de la creme. Apparitions. Now, apparitions are full bodied human figures in their period costume. 99% of the time, you could have an apparition sitting right next to you, dear. And they still will not appear on film. Now, also, as we roam these streets, we might encounter some souls who do not agree with our plight to the dark side. So they might try to yell something witty or creative, like, Bill. <laughs> so if this happens, ladies and gentlemen, I will point to these people out and I will shun them. I will point to them out and scream, NOBODY MORE! And you will be followed by a be doomed. Be doomed. Shall we try it? Very excited. I love it. NOBODY MORE! Be doomed! Be doomed. Lovely. <laughs> now let us begin with my first story, the ship of... Doom. Now in 1821, a supply ship from Havana, Cuba, sailed out of the port and to St. Augustine, where it became moored on a sandbank for two days. Now the locals went out to see what had happened, and it was revealed that not one man survived, not even the captain. So the settlers pushed aside the yellowing bodies full of black bile and flies and gathered these supplies to the town. Now the biting flies brought a gift to this town as well. Yellow fever. On your right is the Huguenot Cemetery, built out of a desperate need to bury these yellow fever victims. The iron bars around some of the grave sites are mass graves. Some over 12 people deep. Now the walls around the cemetery were eventually removed and bodies spilled out in the surrounding lands including where we are currently <laughs> driving. So if you walk or drive by this place and you see apparitions, that could be due to the fact that they died so quickly they still do not know they are dead. One such apparition is commonly seen to your left in between the city gates, and she is affectionately known as Elizabeth. Now Elizabeth was the gatekeeper's daughter and one of the first victims of the yellow fever epidemic. She's often seen waving in her blue dress and bonnet to cause passing by before fading into a mist of herself. Now the shopkeepers along this alley are often asked about this historical reenactor. However, we have none. So if you stand between those city gates and you feel a heaviness in the air, followed by a cold wind, Make sure you say hello to Miss Elizabeth if you do. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we are about to make a stop at the Tolomato Cemetery.
Okay, guys, we're going to the cemetery. We didn't even know it was right here, and we were at the wax museum. You have to pick that stuff right? Well, I'll tell you a little bit more of the history in a moment. So we can't. Can we get inside? Unfortunately, they close it off to the public, but it is open every third Saturday. Oh wow! I believe. Look, guys. Part of it is to preserve the history, and it's not super well organized, so it's very easy to stomp on your relatives. Now, do feel free to fall all the way down, making room for everyone. Absolutely. We were over here. On and leave it on. Our guests have found the best results in our very first mode or sports mode on your team. Look at her hand next to me. Okay, I'm going to take some photos. Please do watch your image. From 1773 to 1884, this was the Spanish Catholic burial site here in St. Augustine. But do you know? What Alamato stands for in Spanish? A tall tomato. See, <laughs> Alamato <laughs> 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 not Spanish at all. Alamato is the name of the Native American chief who used these grounds as their burial site. Before this was a Spanish Catholic burial site. Now this kind of explain the odd activity caused by Love. Sharp temperature changes and shadows moving on their own. As well as a few residents have permission. You see, the first you know, the thing is, is affectionately cold. known as James, commonly seen playing in the large oak tree by the cemetery gate. But who is he? Well, 30 feet He's to the, the right is the solitary white gravestone of James. Now, on that gravestone, it is revealed that James died. And he was only five years old. Now, local legend had it he was buried quickly here in St. Augustine. And his family was There's supposed orbs to pick flying. him back up. Yes, and there is. The family's lot. Oh, yeah, okay. Do you have your camera on? And Record now, James Mitchell, the president of our Palo Monte. Now, photographs and videos have a these boys playing with inside of the cemetery. They can't off each other's lines. Oh, no, and our children do tend to see this apparition more commonly than adults. Yeah. Yeah. And we wouldn't be brave enough to play a game with him if he asked to. Right? I wouldn't be either. But we did have two boys at gravestones and tried to sleep for the evening. They tried fitfully to sleep until they heard an odd noise outside their tent. Now they thought it was a friend just trying to play a trick on them. Ooh, they bright light. Turn that off. Weird <laughs> outside. Yeah, it's getting all kinds of real. And what they saw shocked them. A glowing white female chore. <laughs> she was hovering six inches above the ground. Gray <coughs> hair. <coughs> And one man stepped out of the crowd and said, I know who you saw in the cemetery. Now it was revealed that this woman had died a week before her wedding due to heart weakness. Out of respect for her impending marriage, her family requested she be buried in her wedding gown. Now it all made sense. The glowing white of her wedding dress, the obscured face, a veil, People are complaining long about the lights. gray hair, a soiled tray. Now the boys stuck by their story for the rest of their life and vowed never to step foot in the cemetery again. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we don't know why these apparitions are here. All we know is that they are here. That's creepy. Now, please do watch your head and step as you follow me to the Potter's Wax Museum. No, it's not.
Can you make that static meter light up again? I'll try. Yeah, watch her back. I know. This is faster from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. by the way. Can making you? the REM thing go off. Can yeah, you can make the static meter go off? Yeah. If it's buffering, refresh. <laughs> Sound like I said I did. Are you recording you so you can guess? Yes. Okay. Oh my gosh. When did you die? What year? Turn the slide on. Okay guys, they told us that this place was only open the third Saturday of each month from 11 to 3. And there's the sign. I got a picture of it. Let me get over here. I got a picture of it. It's hard to see like this. Can, can you make the little round disc light up for us? That run box is going crazy. It I is. know, the rim pod is going crazy. And that doesn't go off unless something's touching it. Yeah, that means something has to be touching that. Who's touching that round box? I am. Can you tell me your name? I think not. I think not. Oh, I think wow. Not. <laughs> I think not. My wow. name is Angie. What's your name? And I'm Jennifer. I'm walking down here, guys. I know I'm walking fast. The tombstones are so cool. So the third Saturday of the month, guys. Third Saturday of the month. making sure nobody was over there by our car. I think they're getting in the car beside it. All right, I'm gonna walk back down here. Yes. Yeah. Really? Wait. 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 Okay. Jesse, where's your EMF pump? Or your, yeah, your EMF pump. I'm getting all kinds of orbs, y'all. I mean, the pictures are just crazy how many orbs I'm getting. Oh, let me go get my pump. Can you make the REM pod go off again? Hey guys, this is an EMF pump. You can use this to get some energy from it. To make stuff go off or talk to us. Whoa! I'm gonna come out next to the turbine. Hello, Jackie. Oh, hey, sorry. Hey, you can watch me. You can watch. <laughs> we're just we're YouTubers here. and we're just. We're she's live right here. now on, on uh, YouTube and you the rest of us are talking on that speaker. <laughs> Can you make the run pod go off? Can you say hello? Okay, y'all, we're getting a crowd. <laughs> Can you say hello? There's some there, but I'm gonna show you what I got a little while ago. It's wild. Okay, guys, we're getting a crowd of people. You guys wanna be on YouTube? 
<laughs> no. They don't want to be on YouTube. You see all those circles? Oh, they yeah. weren't there before. Oh, you see that? They were everywhere. But you see, they're, sometimes they're there and sometimes they're not. Do you, you like all the people standing pictures. here? There's one up there. Oh, wow. But yeah, that was a bunch Take of them. time right there. Can you guys hear that? But this is my quick. Ah, my thing keeps going over. Can you say hello to all the people standing here? This is a rim pod. If they come up and touch it, it'll go off like that. Can, can you say hello? And that's shooting EMF out so they can beat off of it. I'm going to get my EMF detector too. <laughs> if you listen with headphones, you can really hear what yeah, they're saying. Yeah, you can really hear it. We lost some of our so friends. Once we, once we get home and we edit our videos and stuff, you can hear everything. You can hear everything. Uh, it's cool. <laughs> well, How long have you done this? this? I've just started. I think. They've been doing We've it been a lot longer. A few years. They've been doing it a lot longer. Than well, that's going to go off because it's right up against that pump, so... I, guess I want to see that gadotic meter go off again. Yeah, it's hard to make that go off. It, it was off. going yeah. off. Like he said in that shop, he said yeah. that one goes off it better. Went, it went off quite a few times at the it cemetery will. that over by my house. I just turned it low. I'm going to put right, this yeah. back a little bit to get it up because that AMS Who's pump the female will make that, that go just off. said hello? Can you tell me your name? Yeah. Uh-huh. Look, there goes the REM pod again. Who is the female? Can you play with them toys over there again to make the lights light up? Touch the REM pod. They heard Edward. Yeah. I heard Edwin. They heard Edwin? I heard Edwin, not Edward. Someone else said they heard Emily. Can you touch that round, the round box again over there? Hold on a second, I gotta grab some batteries. Oh God, a bunch of them. Okay guys, hang on one second. I'm gonna change the batteries in my spirit box. They're about to go off. Look so at that REM pod box. That thing is they're going off. It. Yeah, they're touching it's it. It's going off. Okay. <laughs> Touch the REM pod box. So they have more energy to talk with us. So they don't take our energy. Yes. Because spirits can take your energy. Mm -hmm. yep, you ever notice if you go to a graveyard, you, the next day wild. you're drained? Yeah. Thank you for touching it. That sometimes spirits will take your energy. All right, guys, we're back. It's going off. Oh boy, big time! Look at that, Tommy. Oh, she's back. Did you hear that? Yeah, I did. <laughs> what did you say? She's back. Did you she's hear back. it? Back. All right, guys. Now you can talk. You should turn it up some. It's some up oh, is, is it? Go. Okay. Do they only talk to certain people? No. You just have to have patience to listen to it. Yeah. I really want to see that static meter light up. <coughs> it did one time. I know, it did more. Can you make the static meter light up again? Can you, yeah, can you play with all them toys over there? We gave you guys a lot of, we gave you guys an EMF pump to help you guys with your energy. So you, that's, that's right. right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my face is super Thank hot you. Right now. Thank <laughs> you. Have a good, good night. Are you enjoying talking with us? That was great. What the heck was that? <laughs> Thank you for talking with us. Can you say goodbye? Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, much more. Look at that.
Oh, yeah. Holy cow. That freaked me out. I didn't even see him coming. Can you say goodbye? Stay. Stay. Did it say stay? That's what it sounded like. We're going to stay, but um, we're going to let someone else turn on their box for a while. Talk. She's getting ready to start her spirit box up if you guys want to hear something. That thing keeps spirit going crazy. Spirits keep touching it. Okay. Oh, you watch that TV? Yes. Yeah, she, I just got done doing mine. I did my where's recording, the, so now she's doing hers. Where's the candles? Huh? Where's the candles? <laughs> we don't need candles. We got the energy for the goat, yeah, but it, for yeah, the spirits, it helps them, gives them energy. And if you'll hear this thing go off and it'll change colors some more the more spirits that touch it. This right here this. only goes off when they touch it. I watch this all the time. We are live on YouTube right now. Yeah. yeah. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> they came and took Brandon it out. Look at the people. Look at the spirits like that. There's two people here. Oh yeah, they get excited when uh, oh, they know your feet are there. Yeah. Okay, come so on. what's your name? I'm Lisa. Freezing. Lisa, this is Lisa, guys. Hi. Give her a big Lisa. shout out to Lisa. Hi. She from loves Dallas. this kind of stuff. Love Dallas. it from Dallas. From Dallas. Yeah. Awesome. Who's cool. the rest of it? Who, who else you got with you? Hello, I'm her husband, Chuck. <laughs> There's Chuck. Big shout out to Chuck. Ooh, Chuck. Laura from Jacksonville. Oh, from <laughs> Jacksonville. Is this your husband? Lenny. 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 <laughs> Lenny the drunk. Lenny the I'm drunk. going with Lenny. From Atlanta. <laughs> from Atlanta. <laughs> Shout out to them for coming out and watching us. Cool! Look at that box. Yeah. I actually just moved to Georgia from Kaufman, Texas. Oh, you did? Oh, cool. Yes, yeah. Oh, I'm so cool. Thank you. This is so cool. Okay, guys, y'all know the drill. If you talk to Jenny, you want to talk to me, you can do it in my box right here. I'm the one that laid all those fun toys out for you. I'll be glad to talk to you. This is our first time in St. Augustine. Is it really? Yes. We have lots of videos down there. The city cemetery across from the fort. No, not yet. Until the other place you need to go is the Lady of Lelechia. There's some really old graves there. Uh, uh, young children died. Oh. Crosses, the Catholics ground over. Yeah. A bunch of child graves there. Oh, wow. Uh, tuberculosis, diphtheria, whatever it was. Wow. Yeah, we're going to hit up a bunch of places tomorrow, too. There's six nuns buried side And we're going to a couple other cemeteries tonight. Yeah. I'll tell you, another place that probably be really good to go would be the, uh, uh, the Kingsley Slate Plantation up on... Uh, Little town with Island. Oh, you know, wow. Uh, right across the Maple and across the river. There's an old slave plantation with the old slave homes. There's no graves there that I'm aware of. There probably is. <laughs> there probably is. Right there there. Probably is. Um, yeah. There's, um, I don't know, Lusty, the National Forest out here was the site of the uh, Battle of Old Lusty. There's over 3,000 casualties, bodies buried out there. Wow. Uh, pretty, pretty strong, um, if you believe that. Yeah. There. Are you guys from here? I am. Yeah. Oh, okay. Wow. He knows history like crazy. That's awesome. Okay, so let's see what we're going to get down here. You're welcome to come right up and speak to us. So what happened? Can you tell us your name? They can speak through the spirit box. They speak through that. Wow. So if you get close enough and you can hear it, we use earbuds to listen back, so we can hear it pretty well. But you can get right, get right up in there. But what is it? What is it? Get down there with her. Technology on that box. What is it picking up? I mean, what is it? Spirits speak through white. They speak through white noise. The radio frequencies. Yes. Yes. Sorry. And they answer every question we ask. So if you were like set up next to an airport and aircraft was transmitting this radar, that thing would go absolutely eight crap. Well, it goes backwards. We do it in reverse. We go backwards, so that it. It, it tries not to get the radio stations. It does pick them up once yeah, in a while. It, yes. A lot about baby monitors and things like that. Probably yes. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe. I've never heard a baby cry though. Uh, <laughs> and if you did, you wouldn't know if it was a live baby or maybe. Uh, a yeah, a deceased you baby. Why. You're right. Can you tell me what your name is? Wow! <laughs> did you guys hear that say Lisa's name? Oh my God! It's oh on my, my live stream. Ooh, I wasn't recording. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is amazing. Oh, I really that's crazy. That's funny. I know y'all can do it. 
You make the ramp up go off. Yeah, then I just let it go off harder. We got the people in the pub. The people in the pub. They want to be on YouTube. You see them over there, guys? Say good night. Good night, baby. I love you. Did that say Debbie? I don't know. I asked them where they, we could go else in town that we could talk to spirits, and they started spouting off stuff. Oh. Said what? I don't know. They started spouting off stuff. We appreciate y'all showing up for our pictures. Can you tell us who the, who the spirit is that um, Angie caught on her camera? John? John? I thought that's what it said. That was really cool of you to show up. Can you watch? Yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm just kind of watching our back. Okay. Oh, that was creepy. What? That voice. Telling said Murray. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Jesse's getting some like creepy spirit side. box session there. Creepy voices. I can't get that in here. It's getting too loud around here. Um, we are it's not now. Yeah, we were watching you from the rest. We have an EVP. What's your name? Louisa. Louisa. Shout out to Louisa. Who's your? Is this your husband? Boyfriend? Yes. This is my What's his name? Lover. Your lover. She's got a lover. <laughs> this is Alberto. Alberto. <laughs> is it working? Yeah, yeah. we're getting some really? spirit. Yeah, the voice is coming got, through. You said your name's Lisa? What? Louisa. Louisa. Can you say Louisa's <laughs> name? I don't know if it's going through or not. It said a woman's name a minute ago. Yeah. <laughs> What's that? The spirit? What? <laughs> 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 Have a good night. Jennifer, can I see your keys? You got 40 people in there, okay, guys. I'm going to go and get warm for a minute, and then I will film some more for you guys. Oh, you can hear so much you said. It got so loud.